Good morning, Belton High School. I'm Jaylee Simon. And I'm Tanner Strife. And you're watching Cutlass Cut TV, TV News. News. on the recent senior signing day by myself and Tanner Strife. Wednesday, November 9th was National Signing Day. BHS had nine seniors signed to play collegiate sports. Um, I'm going to Northwest Missouri State to play volleyball. Um, I'm really excited and I'm going to major in education hopefully and maybe become a coach. Um, I think that I am ready to go to college, but I think that I still have a lot of preparing to do, like getting better at volleyball and just getting all my new things together before I head off to college. Um, I'm Skylar Moore. I will um, be playing baseball at Long Beach Community College. Um, I'm going to study exercise sciences. Um, this has been a very important day for me. Um, I've put a lot of work in. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how many hours I put in for all this, all this work and everything that I've done. You know, and it's finally paid off. And to know that everything's finally paid off, it just it means a lot. And um, it's really exciting. And I've been waiting for this day for so long. And hopefully, I can build off of it. So, I'm really excited to see where my baseball career goes. Um, I'm attending Missouri State University to play softball. Um, it's definitely a big relief off my shoulders to know that I've committed to a college to play a sport because my whole life I've wanted to go to college to play a sport and now that that's finally like complete and finalized, it's very exciting. Am I ready? Maybe. Um, some of the workouts are going to be a lot harder, playing is going to be a lot harder, but I think I'm definitely up for the challenge and I'm ready for a new scene and new coaches and a new team. All our signees and thank you for being here, you made this a great event. With Tanner Strife, I'm Jaylee Steinman for Cutlass TV News. The Social Studies Department is hosting a clothing drive for veterans. Here's more on the story by Brian Reyes, Andrew Phillips, and Isaac Peterson. The BHS Social Studies Department is currently gathering items for veterans to deliver to the Veterans Medical Center in Kansas City in January. Uh, we will be collecting items through the end of the month. You can drop them off at any social studies teacher at Belton High School. Um, items that they need include new shirts, um, new underwear, new socks, coffee, puzzle books, chapstick, or disposable razors. And we would like everyone to please try to make it a goal to drop off at least one item to a social studies teacher at BHS. Thank you. With Andrew Phillips and Isaac Peterson, this is Brian Reyes with Cutlass TV News. Here's a story on the upcoming girls basketball season by Samantha LaValle, Noe Sosa, and Sarah Bell. As all the fall sports come to an end, BHS is ready to begin their winter sports. Senior Courtney Keith is a varsity basketball player. Courtney spoke about what he's hoping to achieve this season and what he's looking forward to. He then talked about how he's preparing to meet his goals. I don't plan on losing this season. Um, our schedule looks pretty easy, so I hope to accomplish an undefeated season. But if not, I just want to go past districts. Uh, I'm looking forward to accomplishing a lot of wins this season. We got a lot of new players that came in, the transfers. So um, after practices, I usually go up to the community center and I try to put in a little extra work because I know I'm a senior. I have to work a little harder than those that are not seniors. And I try to set an example for kids that are juniors and sophomores to work harder and take the extra initiative to be better at your sport and be great. For the girls basketball, senior Courtney Lewis and sophomore Cameron Estelle told us what they are looking forward to this season. The players then said what they are hoping to achieve and how they are preparing for it. I'm looking forward to winning games, getting to state, um, and away games, bus ride home. I'm hoping to achieve a winning record, um, being on the road to state, and making this last year the funnest um, this season. 
what are we doing to prepare? We're conditioning, so we'll be able to play. So we'll be able to play. When it comes down to crunch time, if the team goes into overtime, we'll have enough endurance to get through it and win. I'm looking forward to the girls working together and us achieving what we did last year and going further. Um, I'm hoping we win districts and go to state and win that also. I'm going to every practice and open gym that we have and I'm working out, out of school and whenever we don't have practices. With Noe Sosa, I'm Sarah Bell for Cutlass TV News. Here's a teacher profile on Miss Paradise by Logan Fari, Giovanni Aquindo, and Savannah Truitt. Science teacher Mary Paradise started at Belton a little over a year ago and has been quick to make a big impact on students' lives. Um, I think she really cares about if you're understanding or not, so she takes a lot of time out of lessons to do one-on-one -on -one with people. Well, she's really passionate about it, so she has a lot of ways to make it fun. Um, I always really loved school, and it's, I think it's because it's a place where I would go and get a lot of positive attention. Um, I had a really big family, and my parents worked at night, and I had wonderful, loving parents, but I didn't really get a lot of the uh, positive attention. So I realized that if I went to school and did good and got the grades, then my teacher would oh, Mary, what a wonderful job. You're a great student. And that made me feel so good about myself that I grew up to be an optimistic person. And I think a lot of kids need to hear that. I think a lot of kids are told negative things or they're um, thought less of, and I think every child deserves the chance to feel good about themselves. So that's why I teach. And so I can, and I love, love science, so go ahead. I like her because she's funny and she's nice and she always tries to keep us going as students. Um, she just, she knows how to like talk to us. She's always keep the class from fun, stuff like that. And she never makes it boring. Why do I like science? Um, science, a magic school bus. First and foremost, and those of you who have me know that show like changed my life because science is this world that we can't see, but is there. So there's all this magic happening around us, and I feel like we need to appreciate it. And I always really liked biology. Uh, I wish I went to school again nowadays so I could have gone through some STEM training. I uh, kind of I'm like, oh, I like science. I'll be a doctor. And nowadays there are lots of other paths, but. Um, my degrees in biology, I was pre-med, I was going to be a doctor, uh, but I just missed school. And as a teacher, I can teach tons of different sciences, not just one specific discipline. With Giovanni Oquindo and Savannah Truitt, I'm Logan Ferrari with Cutlass TV News. Thanks for watching Belton High School. Remember to tune in next week. And as always, Carpe, Carpe Dio. Dio.